really do. Um, I, I've made up my mind. Praise God. I think I'm going to go with the Lord has said on me. It's not going to be a long word. However, it's going to be a word of warning and a word of correction. Because God's people are tangled up into stuff that God wants you out of. And I know a lot of times people say, well, Lord, we need to get your breakthrough. You got to run around the church three times and then do a couple of Hika Messiahs. And then that spirit that was on you will come off of you. Jesus. But I've never seen anybody come out of homosexuality running around the church. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on, sir. Never seen it. That's right. But I've seen them allow the word of God to transform them. I've seen them obey God's word. I've seen people in here who God took off of drugs. Jesus. Because we obey the word of God. Jesus. So we're going to deal with this particular. I'm going to ask, um, <clears throat> praise God, amen. I'm going to ask Minister Arthur. I want you to get a mic and I'm going to ask you to read for me today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to ask you to read for me, sir. Amen. And we're going to deal with. I gave an honor, amen, to the founder, to the honorees, but I, I want to just give an honor to someone that loved me for a long time, and I loved her for a long time, and for 34 years walked with me. That's right. That's right. Come on. That's my wife. Amen. 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 Married for 34 years. Hallelujah. On the battlefield. Married for, married for 34 years and been in sin for a couple years. Amen? Y'all don't want to talk about that truth right there. We just like to paint good pictures. Come on. Yes, sir. But the preachers are going to have to paint the truth. That's right. That's right. If people won't get set free, you got to let people know that you was married. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Pastor. We can't paint this picture that these people are trying to paint. Everybody is trying to run to lead. Jesus. Every time you turn around, somebody's becoming a master problem. Let me not, let me just. Wow. <laughs> let, let, me, let me just go. Read it already, Pastor. Nobody is chasing after souls anymore. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nobody's chasing after souls. Amen. I want you to get 1 Corinthians. I need y'all to hear this. I'm just going to enable it to be long. But I just need y'all to hear this. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 13. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Need y'all to hear this. <coughs> some of you are into some things and you're waiting for God to provide an exit sign to get you out. But God ain't provide no exit signs. You got to be obedient to the sign that was already written. How did you hear You got to be obedient. Jesus. Minister Arthur, would you read that? Yes, 1 Corinthians 1, 13. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Jesus. Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? Wow. Well, um, that ain't what I wanted. Jesus. I need the scripture, Pastor, where it says, There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common. Uh, says, uh, That's what I need. Jesus. That's a good one, too. <laughs> Did y'all know that's how denominations got started? Denominations got started because man couldn't agree. Yeah. Did you know there was no denominations in the first church? 10, 13. First Corinthians 10 13. What is it? First Corinthians 10 13. Alright, get first Corinthians 10 13. I just missed the zero. 
And this is zero. Yeah, that's on it. That's why that's we got Bible scholars here to keep you in the way. All right. Now, this is what I want y'all to see. Read. First Corinthians 10, 13. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to men. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. Yes, yes. Come on. Today we're going to talk about the way of escape. Okay. Wow. Jesus. 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 Father, touch my mind, touch my lips for a few Jesus. minutes. Yes, Lord Jesus. That I will bring forth this message of Lord God that somebody will hear yes, and come out of the trap house. Yes, that somebody will hear and come out of their knees. Wow. Jesus. Jesus. God, somebody needs to be freed. Jesus. And they need to understand how you free people. Jesus. So God, don't let us go back home with our chains. Jesus. But God, let them fall off in this service. Jesus. So we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Hallelujah. Jesus. The, the, we think the way of escape, this is what we think the way of escape is. Watch this. You in there chilling, Netflix and chilling with your girl or your man, and, you, and get the Holy Spirit's going to come. And lift you up off the couch. Right. <laughs> you know, with, with your boo. God gonna lift you up with, with your boo. And whatever ungodly thing that you was doing on that nasty couch, wow. you think that God's gonna take you from the nasty couch and put you at the altar. Jesus. Oh, wow. It don't work like that. <laughs> it don't work like that. Jesus. Sir. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> It'll be nice as soon as we about to do something, our hand come across the back of our neck <laughs> and snatch us and put us, shoot us in another atmosphere where it's less dangerous. <laughs> Have you ever been in a situation you said, Lord, just get me out of this? If you get me out of this, I'll serve you for the rest of my life. <laughs> Lord, just trans transport me, Lord, like it is. Come on. So, if it doesn't work like that, make sure you have your Bible. So we Bible over here, amen? amen. Amen. We don't shut the Bible and tell jokes. If we we tell. That's how cults get started because people have their Bibles closed. Come on, Pastor. Come on. That's why things crept into the church because we come and close our Bible. That's why in a few days the church will be celebrating Halloween because somebody shut their Bible. Yeah. Or they're going to change the name of it to keep Halloween. I'm going to leave that alone. No, no, I'm going to leave that alone. But I'm just trying to tell you. I did a whole series. I hope we, we take it yesterday. Y'all better go look at it. I did the truth about Halloween. Just like y'all was doing. Come on, it's, it's, it's. And, and God doesn't want us to even change the name of it. Amen. You can't clean because you don't have the power to clean. Come on. Why are we trying to clean up stuff? We don't have the power to do that. My God. We have the power to stay away from what God tells us to stay away from. That's it. Exactly. Amen. Amen. No, 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 no. Don't change the name. That's how it kept into the church because we tried to change the name. But let's let's go back to the way of escape. Amen. Amen. How does the way of escape work? I'm glad you asked. Let's go to Luke 21 and verse 20. Luke 21 and 20. She cut it up. I sucked that one. Let's get, make sure the mic on, brother. A lot of them got it. And when ye shall see Jerusalem come past with armies, then know that the desol desolation thereof is not. 21. If you want to go further, or what's 21 say? Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, 
mm -hmm. and let them which are in the midst of the depart out, of it depart out. Mm -hmm. And let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. Just in case y'all don't know what this is talking about, this is talking about in AD 70 when the temple of Jerusalem was destroyed. The people of God was warned what to do. Yep. Wow. Wow. God says, when you see the armies coming around, get out of there. Jesus told them, when you see the armies start coming around, get out of there. Get out of there. Hurry up. Don't even think about it. And what happened was, after Jesus got finished giving instructions, the false prophets came right behind him and says, no, the Lord God will never let that happen to his people. That's right. God will never let the people. God is good. God. So what happened was, people started listening to false prophecy instead of listening to the word. Come on. Come on, sir. And what happened was, the army surrounded it was, I believe it was General Titus. He surrounded the place, and the people that did not follow instruction, the Bible says they were surrounded, they stayed in there, they couldn't get no food, they couldn't get no water, they couldn't get anything, and they started eating their own children. My God. Wow. Yep. Because they didn't obey Jesus. Yep. the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Come on, sir. Jesus. They rather hear these false prophets. There's a lot of prophets out here, y'all. The Bible says there's many of them. The Bible says there's many false prophets. Come on. You're gonna start seeing prophets pop up out of nowhere. They never serve nobody. They never love nobody. They never labor with nobody. But God gave them a word. Yep. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. How does the way of escape work? I've already given you the answer. But just in case, let's go to another scripture to see how it works. Genesis 19 and 17. Genesis 19 and 17. Genesis 19 and 17. And it came to pass, when they had brought them forth abroad, he said, and he said, escape for thy life. Look not behind thee. Neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, yeah. lest thou be consumed. Uh -huh. It was given instructions. Amen. Remember, y'all, remember Lot? Remember, um, they was given instructions to not look back? Yep. They was given instructions to, to escape. When you escape, you're going to hear some stuff. You're going to see some stuff, but don't look back. Remember that? Yep. You're gonna hear a bunch of noise. You're gonna hear all this, but don't look back. What happened? It was on their way to deliverance. And Lot's wife did what? Look back. And I'm sure she was screaming for Lot, but guess what Lot was doing? <laughs> Lot was doing what? I heard it. Following instructions. Jesus. How does the way of escape work? Anyone see it yet? Yeah. Yep. Just in case you don't see it, let's go to Genesis 7, 1 through 5. I'm not going to be long. I'm just in teaching mode. Amen. And I'm not intimidated by quietness. Because I know y'all listen. Yeah. See, most people will be intimidated so they will try to rile you up so they can get some emotions. No, no. I don't need your emotions right now. I need your ears. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. But watch this. But if the Holy Spirit touches you to say whatever, you can do whatever you want. But I'm just letting you understand that God says here's some people that are in traps, that are in chains, that he's trying to free. Amen. And I'm giving you the word right now on how to do it. Amen? Amen. Let's go to Genesis 7. 1 through 5. 1 through 5. And the Lord said unto Noah, Listen, come thou and all thy house into the ark. For thee have I seen righteous bef before me in this generation. I'm confused. Mm. Mm. The whole world heard the word. Yep. And not one came to the altar. Come on. He preached, Doc. The Bible 
Bible says he preached and then he built. He preached and then he built. He woke up, I'm sure he washed up, ate his breakfast, preached, and then he built. And he did this consistently. And the people, the people had an opportunity to hear this word. If you didn't like his building, you still had to hear the word. Right. So if you had a problem with him building, okay, well, he just stopped building. Now he's preaching. Right. And he preached, and he could not get a member outside of his family. Mm -hmm. God destroyed the whole world and saved the preacher and his family. Jesus. See, y'all think that just because we are large in number, that God is going to respond to those that are large in number. You know what God says? The narrow, or the, the narrow way is his way. Yes. It's few. The Bible says it's the wrong way that leads to destruction. Yep. The majority is not always right. Nope. That's right. That's right. And you might be the only one standing for God in your family, but you better stand for God. Yes. You better not let, well, everybody else is doing it this way. Don't go by what everybody else is doing. Because nope. the Bible says there's a way that seems right. right. Yes. <laughs> he preached, and they were the only ones. That boat was big enough for everybody, but they was the only ones that got in it. Read. Look at verse 2, y'all. Verse 2. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens. I ain't gonna let the animals get saved and y'all lost. <laughs> Go ahead. The male and his female. So he said, by clean, take thee by sevens. Wasn't we, wasn't we taught coming up that the animals went in the ark two by two? Two by two. <laughs> Let me tell y'all what that was. An inherited lie. Inherited lie. <laughs> Hey. Did y'all know there are inherited lies in the church that was passed down to us? That's but it. we never thought to open the Bible and look yeah. at it. We just oh, took man. it as word. Yeah. And then we opened up the Bible and we found out that they was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Jesus. Wow. Man. Wow. Jesus. Read. Jesus. And of, of beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female. Oh. Wow. A foul. Whoa, 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 that called me unclean. That's right. Uh, yeah. mm. Let me look at y'all think I'm scared y'all. <laughs> See, because I know if it's in the Bible, I can stand. That's right. And I know if I get ridiculed, I know I'm doing it for the Bible. I know if I get beat up, I know at least I'm doing it for the Bible. If I die, at least I know I'm dying for the word of Come God. On, right? So I'm gonna stand and let y'all, let me look at y'all. I'm not, because I'm, God is trying to free some people today. Yeah, that's right. God was the first person that said meat was unclean. That's right. Jesus. Not a Levite. Yes. <laughs> Not a Jew. Come on. Come on. Had nothing to do with Jews. Had nothing to do with Levites. Yes. The Jews wasn't even existed yet. God said, you put the unclean in there. Why did God need the unclean animals to get there? Because he needed the unclean animals to clean up after the clean ones. Teach them, I'll stop. Teach them. The unclean animals, don't look at your name, look at me. Don't stop talking with your eyes. Because we can talk with our eyes. Right? <laughs> Jesus. As long as it's in the word, I got a hiding place, right? Yes, right. God says. <laughs> see, as long as we put it in two by two, we'd have never saw that. That's right. Wow. We'd have never, we'd have never paid attention to that. That's right. That's important. I'm gonna get off of it because I know I want to keep going. Jesus. Jesus. But the reason why the earth is dirty is because we're eating the vacuum cleaners. That's right. Wow. 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 That's it. I'm going to leave it alone. 
<laughs> and something for you to chew on. That's right. Give them those damn quits and they be like, Ted and chew? <laughs> uh oh, the telephone ministry will be starting that bit of trenches over. <laughs> now I just gave him some more ammunition. <laughs> I just get, I just get, that's all right, talk about me all you want, amen? Good word, good word. I'm built for this, amen? Good word. Breathe! Oh, no. A fowls also of the air. Listen at these instructions. Somebody say, listen. Listen. At the instructions. The male and the female. Mm. To keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. Wow. For yet seven days. Seven and I will cause it to rain upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. And every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. <laughs> and no one Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> God says, I'm getting ready to destroy everything I made. Wow. Right. Jesus. Jesus. Wait a minute, God. What you make is perfect. Wow. Of course you will not do that. Wow. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If God says he's going to do it, you better not fix your mouth and say he's not. Because it was that same voice that called the people to stay in Jerusalem when the city was around it. They had no food coming in. They started eating their own children. Right. And the whole, that temple was destroyed and they killed millions of people. Yeah. Because somebody did not listen to God. Wow. wow. He said, I'm going to destroy everything that I have made. Hey, y'all, Jesus is coming and he's about to destroy of everything except the righteous. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's going to destroy everything except the righteous that he's made. God is not coming to, to, to give you seven more years. When God comes, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Nothing here to die. Y'all better stop looking at these movies <laughs> that's making the Bible out of a lie. Y'all look at Left Behind. Y'all look at all this tribulation and all that by Jack Hayden. And they told y'all that if y'all don't accept Christ now, you got seven more years to make up your mind. Liar. The devil is a liar. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the Bible says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the Son of God. As it was in the days of Lot, so shall it be in the days of the Son of God. They have no second chance. Nope. No chance. My God. Jesus. Jesus. Talking about escape. Jesus. Jesus is so the crack the sky. Come on. People are gonna be in the, in the hair shop. People are gonna be in the nail shop, and the trumpet is gonna blow. Yeah, I'm here. Well, how come God ain't giving me no warning? I'm warning you now. Yeah. <laughs> See, y'all want to think God is gonna, hey, the trumpet's gonna blow today. No, God is preparing you for the escape right now. Right now. Right now. I'm showing y'all how the way of escape works. Preach, Pastor. <laughs> It just don't work. The way you escape just don't get you out of stuff. The way you escape warn you before you get in. Jesus. Wow. You follow instructions, you will never get in. Jesus. Because there are some things you want to get in that is for God ain't gonna be able to get you out. Jesus. Because there are different atmospheres, there are territories that God don't even want you to be on. That's right. Jesus. Wow. That now you gotta listen to God because some of you are gonna get trapped. Jesus. And you can't blame the preacher. Amen. Can't blame wow. What if you're in the trap and you die? Mm. You're gonna die the way you live. Wow. Mm. Jesus. People say, oh, that's why they do funerals. They be trying to get me to say something nice. I said, what they say? Well, you know they had nice fingers. You know he made everybody laugh. He was a life of the party. Thank you. He wasn't saved. So I'm not going to put him under the place where he. Before you can, before you can go to heaven, you got to live in heaven. You got to live like. You just can't go to heaven if you, if you live like hell. That's where you're going. So no, I'm not going to put him in heaven. 
I'm a priest to the ones that's living. I'm going to give them instructions so they won't enter into the same that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Somebody say the way, the way. of escape. Of escape. I've already given y'all the answer, but I'm going, I'm going to get a couple more scriptures and I'm done. Is that all right? Yes. Are y'all learning? Yes. We don't have a click beat, but are you learning? Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> now, I'm sure they can give you one if I'm ready for one, but we ain't going to do no click beats right now. Amen. There are people that dance for hours and still go to hell. Come on. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Where would you, where you stop that? Hope you Verse five. Let's go. And Noah did according unto all that the Lord commanded him. Again, instructions was given, and instructions was obeyed. Amen. Jesus. Anyone kind of see how the way of escape works now? Yep. Yes. Now nah, maybe some of you don't. Let's go. Let me help you out some more. Let's go to Exodus twelve. Jesus. Man, I'm, this I feel like this is Bible study. Amen. Yeah, all right. I want y'all to hear this. And then we're going to pray. All right? Amen. We're going to pray because God told me to pray because there's some change that some of you are in. And watch this. There are some things that was, that was passed down to you that you didn't start, but you got to stop. Amen. That makes sense? Yeah. yeah. You didn't start it. But God's going to give you the power to stop it. Amen. Come on. That's right. That's right. So it won't reach to your sons and your son's sons. Come on. Come on. Come on. Amen. 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 Exodus 12, 12, 13. What does it say? Exodus 12, 12, 13. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. Listen to these instructions. And will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. Listen. Both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. <clears throat> 13. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, mm -hmm. I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. All those that obeyed instructions, yep. children was intact. Mm -hmm. They got a chance to kiss their babies wow. after the deaf angel came to their neighborhood. The reason why God needed his people to put the blood on the doorpost because he needed to know which people to kill. Come on. Wow. Jesus. 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 Come on. Wow. The reason why God has not destroyed some of you is because somebody put the blood on your door. That's right. Come on. Wow. You don't even understand. That's right. Jesus. Some of us are living on the prayers of somebody else. Yes, sir. Jesus. Somebody decided to wake up in the middle of the night and call your name. Thank you, wow. Jesus. Call your situation out. Somebody decided to turn the plate down. Jesus. Why you was acting a fool? Jesus. And they decided to put God before you, put their mouth to God on your behalf. Jesus. And the death angel came Jesus. and didn't take you out. Somebody say the way. The way. 
Of escape. I'm almost done. I know y'all want to go home and watch the game. Jesus. Not important. I'll do it afterwards. <laughs> and then he spoke to me again. Wow. Yeah. Said, I need you to turn your plane down. Jesus. And I said, well, I'll do it at 5 o'clock. Oh, Lord, the game help us. So I said, well, the Lord is telling me to do it, but he ain't telling me when. Jesus. So I'll do it at 5 o'clock. So I'm all good. I had my popcorn ready, right. my, my, my wings and everything ready. Right. Right. And then another voice came. <laughs> I'm so no. saying, God, can you just shut up for a couple hours? <laughs> why, why, why are you drawing? Why can you tell me Friday? Why are you drawing, God? He said, nope, I need you to do it now. I shut the game off, got in God's face, and two days later, there wasn't a demonic attack against somebody that I love, and I was able to help cast the demon out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I was able to get somebody free because I obeyed instructions. Yeah. <coughs> wow. People, you're not going to escape ignoring instructions. Come on. You can heat them aside for three hours. You can run around the church. You can love everybody. But it will not help you to escape like instructions would. Come on, Pastor. Those things wasn't designed to help you to escape. Those things was designed to put you in a frame of mind to hear God. That's what the, that's what the praises is for. That's what it is to line you up to agree with the word of God. That's why you get the, the, the God and God will rain on you, mercy and love, and you feel the Holy Ghost, you feel goosebumps, you feel all that shit speaking in tongues. Oh, that's good, that's great. Yep. But a witch can come in here and run around the church. Yes, sir. <laughs> yep. A witch can come in here and out dance the song. Come on, yes. come on. Yep. But it's instructions that separates us from the Egyptians. Yes. like instructions, but we like grace. Yes. Wow. Say that. Yes. Jesus. 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 We don't like instructions. Nope. We like grace. Jesus. <laughs> well, God's grace is good. Yeah, God's grace. Yes, God's grace. But well, guess what? God's grace and God's word is not in competition. Nope. You're in competition. Yep. Yeah. God's grace and God's word is lined up. And matter of fact, grace don't teach you to be disobedient. Nope. Read Titus. Y'all be lying on grace. Y'all be lying on grace. Y'all be using grace as a get out of jail free card. You think you're going to do everything you want to do and just pull out the license? Well, brother, you can't, you can't sleep. With so and so's wife, but I got a grace card. Grace was never designed to give you a license to sin. No. Jesus. You mean y'all gonna actually continue in sin? And use a grace card? <laughs> <laughs> the Bible says, God forbid. God forbid. Come on, sir. God will destroy you right where you stand. Yes. And save the prostitute who got saved two minutes ago. Wow. Jesus. Jesus. Wow. Jesus. Can I do a couple more scriptures while I'm done? Finish that scripture, sir, because I don't think you finished. Time passed. I feel the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Somebody ready to get free. I feel God moving. Jesus. I feel God moving. Jesus. Jesus. God told me don't go home with your chains. Some of y'all are on the road of the church, but some of y'all names ain't in the book. Because you failed to obey what God told you to obey. God told you 2 o'clock in, in the morning what to do. And then you went to somebody and asked him, well, is this God? My, my. You don't go to people to confirm God. You go to God That's to confirm right. you. That's right. You don't go to people. 
Is this God's word? You got the Bible showing it to him. Is this God's word? What? Jesus. Don't let people explain stuff. People are experts at explaining stuff away. And most of the time, they'll go outside of the Bible to explain the Bible. If you go to your leader and you ask him a biblical question and he goes everywhere else but the Bible, that's a red flag. Yes, sir. Jesus. Just sit there. Amen. Where was you Jesus. Oh, we done with that scripture? Yeah. Y'all kind of know how escape works now, right? Right. Yeah, Jesus. Right. Obedience. But just in case, just in case, somebody is confused. Just maybe you just might be able to, maybe you almost got it, but you just need more convincing. Yeah. Let's go to Revelation. Mm. Oh. Chapter 3 and verse 10. Revelation chapter 3 verse 10 because thou hast kept the word of my patience ah, that word patience means endurance Jesus I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation the Lord told me that somebody's about to make a stop after the service is over, but God said, go home. Wow. 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 Hear me. Jesus. Jesus. Hear what I'm telling you. Some of you are about to go to the hour of your temptation, but God said, go home. Wow. The devil's messing with you right now, but we're coming against that voice in Jesus' name. Jesus name. I'm giving you instructions today Jesus. so that you can escape. Yep. Jesus. Read, sir. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Which shall come upon all the world. Listen. To try them that dwell upon the earth. People, it's the word of God that's going to cause you to last. Mm. It's the word that's going to help you to endure. Amen. It's the instructions of the Most High that's going to help you to overcome the urge to faint in these last days. Yes. Jesus. You're all going to be, you're going to be given a reason to think, but it's the word of God that's going to give you a reason to wake up. It is the word of God that's going to be your smelling salt. Come on, Jesus. That part. Hallelujah. Jesus. Let me ask you a question. You don't have to answer, but how many of you opened up your Bibles four times this week? Lord. Four. Lord. This thing, this is rhetorical. You ain't got to, you ain't got to raise your hand. Three times. <laughs> Two times. One time. I'm not talking about lesson school today. And very we're going to exclude the Sabbath. We're going to exclude those days. But the other days. See, it's the word that the enemy don't want you to inhale. As long as you don't digest it and put it in your heart. He is good. What did Clinton say? I smoked, but I did not inhale. Ah. <laughs> Some of y'all love being around the word. Oh, Jesus. You love being around the word. Yep. I talk to people. Oh, I got my I'm an insurance agent, so I go around people's houses. Yeah, I love the Lord. I got my Bible right there on the shelf. Right. See, people love being around the world. On the shelf. But they don't want the word to get in them. It ain't going to do you no good till they get in. Remember, mama used to give us that castor oil? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Lord, this thing ain't going to do no good till they get in. Come here, boy. Yeah, yeah. Open your mouth. That's the boy. But it's the word, y'all. Why does the enemy fight the word? Jesus. Why does he fight the word inside of us? Let's go to Psalms 119, 111. Come on. Come on. Psalms 119. And hey, get ready to play something soft. I'm going to let you know when to start playing something soft. Psalms 119, 111. Mm -hmm. Thy testimonies have I taken as an heritage. Where's the scripture that says, Thy word have I hid in my heart? Is that 1911? That's a. Uh, 19, Psalms 119, 11, yeah. 
Psalms 119 and 11? Yep. Isn't that what I asked? I said Psalms 119 and 11. I said 111. So it's not, it's 19105. So I did that for the doc. No, it's 11. No, 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 you ready? So I didn't say Psalm 119 What did I say? 111. I said 119 I'll follow instructions. Okay. <laughs> if I'm going to escape this. <laughs> ready? Thank you, sir, for being obedient. Amen. Read for me. Thy word have I hid in my heart. Watch. That I might not sin. Come on. Come on. Come on now. It's good. Hallelujah. He knows, God knows that the more word you put in you, yeah. the more you will escape instead of yielding. Jesus. Wow, come Jesus. on. Jesus. 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 Some of you are causing yourself to be dirty by people that you're around and Amen. things that you're doing. God is not pleased with some of the practices that we do before we come to church. Jesus. Jesus. Some of you are going to be trapped in the things that you are practicing because you're not looking at the warning signs. Yeah. Jesus. Wow. Some of you are trapped in relationships that God never told you to be in. Yeah. Wow. Jesus. Some of you are trapped in some days that God told you to get out of. Jesus. Wow. Jesus. Jesus. But it is the instructions. See, this is why the enemy fights the word. He doesn't want you to read it. He doesn't want you to follow it. Jesus. He just wants it to just be an experience. But he does not want you to get free. Jesus. In order for you to get free, you got to get freedom in you. Come on. So that the change can fall off. Come on. This Come is on. the key. Escape is the stuff. God not just going to grab you out of your stuff. You got to obey your way out of it. Yeah. Come on. Obey your way. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Watch this. How did Daniel, how did, how did, right. look, how did Daniel escape the lion's death? Many of us would say, well, God shut the mouth of the lion. But that wasn't it. That was just a result. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's the result of what Daniel did. What did Daniel do? He prayed three times Come a day. On. He followed God's word Jesus. over the king's word. Jesus. He didn't do what the king, because if he didn't know, if he didn't love God, he didn't know God, he'll go home and start praying to God three times a day. He would have followed the instructions of the king. Jesus. But he, oh, matter of fact, he opened up his window after they gave that home. Wow. When the pandemic came, everybody, the church ran. Yep. The church ran and did. Yep. Wow. They forgot about God's instructions. Oh, they followed CNN 24 hours a day. The reason why they wanted you to shut the churches down, because they wanted their word, their word to be above God's word. Everybody get talking about they step on the devil and oh, I'm not even scared of the devil. I step on the devil's head. Soon as the government said boo, they were like Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Say it went out the window. Yeah. Come on, I know it's quiet. Yeah. Faith went out the window. Yeah. Deliverance went out the window. Yeah. We forgot that how God delivered. I watched God heal my wife from cancer twice. Wow. Wow. I watched it come out of her body. Amen. So you mean to tell me a God that can deliver cancer can't deliver you from flu-like symptoms? Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. I know that's old. I know that's old. But y'all don't understand. Another test is coming. Jesus said, when I come back, will I find faith? Come on. Jesus. Get ready. Jesus. Let's go to James 1.22. Some of you know the truth, but don't walk in it. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Daniel had already received instructions what he was supposed to do. Daniel already found out who the one he was supposed to worship. He wasn't going to bow down to anybody except God. Amen? That's right. Yes. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face and a glass. 
Go to James 2.19. Get ready for the, uh, you can start, brother. We, we close it. James 2, 19. Thou believest that there is one God. Thou doest well. The devils also believe. And people. We just can't say we believe the living word and ignore the written word. They come together. The power is in obedience. Jesus. Jesus. That's it. God shut the lion's mouth because Daniel believed the God that shut the lion's mouth. And not only did he believe, he did what the one that shut the lion's mouth told him to do. He didn't go home after he got the bad news what was going to happen to people that didn't bow down to the king. He didn't go home and say, well, you know what? I guess I just better bow down to the king. Yeah. No, nope. he went home and did exactly what he kept doing. Amen. As a matter of fact, he did it louder with the windows open. Yes, See, true. some of us will try to shut the windows and still say, I believe God. No, open the windows. Yes. You are like, you have no business under a bushel. Yep. People on your job should know that you're safe. That's right, that's right. Some of y'all go in the break room and then you know, nobody know you saved and you're laughing at everybody's joke, laughing at dirty jokes because nobody knows that you saved because you were shamed. Oh one day when we was at in my job and one of the people died and they said, well, who's going to, we're going to have a memorial and we're going to have somebody bring the words, the word of the Lord. So they was like, well, who's going to bring the word of the Lord? So and so and so. And people was like, hell? <laughs> As soon as you got to him, the whole witness was messed up. Yes. People should not question yes. who you're walking with. Yes. Your window should always be open. Yes, sir. But God wants to free you today. Some of you are caught up into some stuff that you don't think nobody, nobody can get you out of. But I'm here to let you know this word is for you. Yeah. God want to get you out. God want to reverse the curse that was brought on to you, even though you might not brought it on, but somebody brought it on. Yeah. Somebody in your family abused their wife, so now you got this abusive spirit. Somebody in your family was angry, now you walk around in angry and anger, frustrated. And this thing is causing you to mess your relationship with the Most High God. It's causing you not to buy in. Some of you are only as good as your last church service. Wow. But this is a lifestyle. Yeah. When the church is closed, your church should always be open. Amen. When there's no, when the altar is, is closed and you can't get to the altar in here, there should be an altar in your house. Stand on your feet. Hallelujah. If you want to escape, my God, my brother is hooked on drugs, but I'm praying for God to release him. I want my brother to escape this thing. Because if I know that if he don't, I know where he's going to wind up. Because the Bible says, thou shalt have no other God before me. And those of you that are listening to me, maybe you got something going on you need God to free you from. Maybe you're a family member. Maybe you, you, you want to believe God for a family member. Because remember, a lot of us are here because a family member put us on the altar. Yeah. And then I'm going to shake out of The enemy is setting a trap for you. And the Bible tells some, the Lord is telling me that some of you are falling deeper into the rabbit hole. And when Jesus comes, it's going to be too late for repentance. There is no repentance when Jesus comes. You got to go before he comes. Yes. Yep. God is not coming back to receive any repentance. When he put on that robe, he said, he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. still. So don't walk out of here arrogant. Don't walk out of here prideful. Admit, say, Lord, I need your help. Hallelujah. And if you need prayer, 
Raise your hand if you need prayer. Do me a favor. Can I bring them to the altar? If you need prayer, come out to out of your seats and come to the altar. Show the Lord.